Turning out to new threats coming out of North Korea, multiple U.S. government agencies warning that North Korea is ramping up its cyber attacks, saying the hackers behind the WannaCry attack are back with a new phishing campaign looking to exploit weaknesses in non-hardened, non-governmental sectors. So what does this all mean for you? Eric Cole is a cybersecurity expert and former CIA analyst and the founder and CEO of Secure Anchor Consulting. Uh, Eric, thanks for coming on. Officials say these hackers are targeting non-hardened, non-governmental sectors. This could sound like gibberish to someone. What does that mean? Essentially, North Korea right now is in desperate need of money. So they're actually launching cyber campaigns via ransomware to actually generate money for their military and their government. And the easiest way to do it is to send an email to you and me and average people that look like an ordinary email. It might look like it comes from the IRS, from FedEx, from UPS, from your bank. You click on it and it encrypts all of your data, holds it ransom, and unless you pay $50, you don't get your data back. And for those that are getting caught up here, remind us again what WannaCry situation was a couple years ago. Uh, WannaCry was a piece of ransomware, and ransomware is malicious software that encrypts all of your data, it holds it ransom, and unless you pay money, you don't get your data back. And just to show you the devastating impact, WannaCry over a three week period generated $4 billion. And we're estimating right now, just based on how clever and the extent of this current North Korea ransomware, that it's probably going to generate 12 to $15 billion over a six week period. Here's where I think the big takeaway here, a country is is having this scam targeting individuals like like you or myself here, not government agencies. It's the average American that is being attacked. What is the aim here of North Korea in doing this? It's to go after the lowest hanging fruit. Most governments, most large companies have really good cybersecurity. Most individuals do not think they're a target. When they see an email, they think it's harmless and they click on it. So the real goal here is how can North Korea generate as much money as possible, hurt the United States, and do it in the easiest, simplest manner, and that's by going after citizens, not the government. Okay, so you get all this money, right? And you, you quoted $4 billion from WannaCry. Uh, we don't even know what's going to happen here. You get all this money. What does North Korea plan to do with it? Uh, North Korea evidently... Uh, launching missiles that blow up and don't work actually costs a lot of money. So if you follow the economic side, North Korea is actually in some financial trouble in order to fund all of their missiles and military and everything else. So they're actually using cyber attacks as a revenue source to fund the government projects. All right. You're watching this. You're saying, OK, hey, look, I could be attacked here. How do people know what to look out for if they do indeed become a target of this cyber attack? I feel like we have uh, I, I don't want to boast, but maybe we have a little bit of an advantage because we dealt with this a couple years ago. But maybe a refresher for what we should look out for and what could possibly be new this year. Yeah, so the challenge with this is what you want to look out for is any email that looks legitimate that has an embedded link or an attachment. Well, the problem is that's most email, right? So what you're really telling people is don't trust email, don't click on links, don't open attachments, which I know isn't good advice. So here's the advice. Check your email, click on links on an iPhone or an iPad, and the reason is simple. All of this malware that we see, WannaCry and this current ransomware, it only works on a Windows computer based on the install base. So if you just get in the habit of checking email, clicking on links on your iPhone or your iPad, that's going to significantly take away the rest. And it's going to make sure that your computer with all your data doesn't get compromised. Very good. Uh, very important information. That is Eric Cole, a cybersecurity expert and former CIA analyst and the founder and CEO of Secure Anchor Consulting. Eric, thanks so much for coming on.